do a quick sneak peek for the all new Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0. We'll actually be releasing this sometime within the next week. Done a lot of research and development, and we've got into some technology relating to half tones, color separations, trapping, and choking that really goes beyond anything else that's been available for to the market. For example, in this release of Simple Step Smart Rip, we now have full support for interlocking half tones. This is an entirely new half toning technology for the screen printing market. Really being able to move beyond the limitations of same angle printing with dot next to or dot on top of dot, which results in a reduction of vibrancy and color shifting. Now with Simple Step Smart Rip, we can do interlocking half tones, which give us brighter, more accurate color half tone printing in the screen printing industry. So beyond all the color management tools that we have, we now have the most cutting edge half tone ripping technology available in the screen printing market. Let's go ahead and take a look at how Simple Steps will work through something such as this simple lumberjack mascot design literally in a matter of minutes and handle all of your needs from color separation to color management to half tone ripping through one application working directly in Corel Draw. Go ahead and select our graphic here and I'll just hit Control A and then I'll select everything. For my color management I'll come over and click on Create Selection Palette. Now that'll give me an archive or a list of all the colors that are available or actually in my graphic. Now I can see this is 11 colors and 19 tints and I can't screen print with that. I want to bring that down in colors. So our first step working with Simple Step Smart Rip is to bring our colors down to a printable number so we can set them up on our screen printing press. To do that I'll go ahead and select black, I'll select this golden yellow, I'll select a red, and I'll select a white, and I'll select this brown. Then I'll come down here and I'll click on one click conversion. Select OK and now I can see I've got five tints and 15 colors. Now if I'm printing on a white shirt this is going to be a four color design. I won't need the white highlight. Now once I've reduced the number of colors in my design then all I need to do is go to separations. I'll come to my raster type and I'll select half tones. Now if I'm going to be printing a white base I can select that here and I can even go ahead and put a choke on that and we'll go ahead and add a choke of two pixels here. If I wanted to I could interlock this to my black and have a perfectly interlocked white base and my black and we'll get into some of that in our later training series. Now here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my Pantone 137 or my golden yellow. I'm going to interlock that to my Pantone 1605C. I'm also going to come up here and I'm going to select my black and I'm going to interlock that into my Pantone 1650C, 1605C also. Now this is going to be an entirely different type of halftone generation than what you're used to seeing in screen printing, but I'll go ahead and show you how you can get more accurate, more vibrant color printing working with interlocking halftone technology. Go ahead and set this to all black because we support the all black output. If you've got an inkjet with all black cartridges in it, we support that with the Simple Step Smart Rip. I'll go down here and I'll go ahead and click on Generate Separation, select OK, and we'll let that process. Now once that's finished processing, by default, I'll be on my halftone preview page. This is one of the other benefits of working with Simple Step Smart Rip. It's the only ripping application in the market that actually gives you a halftone preview that you can work with directly in your graphics application. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened with our interlocking dots. If we go ahead and zoom in here, we can see that our dots are now tucked into each other. They're not on top of each other. This gives us the ability to print with greater color accuracy and vibrancy, really going far beyond what you can do with same angle printing with dot on top of dot or dot next to dot. We're not allowing the color of the garment or the white base to come through and actually shift or change the vibrancy of our color when printing and screen printing. Now this gives us an entirely different result and just to demonstrate here what I'd like to do is go ahead and do a separation which is done the way it's typically explained to us to do in screen printing which is same, ang same angle with dot on top of or dot next to dot. And we'll go ahead and separate this again. I'll just go ahead and select half tones this time and we can go ahead and just click on generate separations and we'll be on all black and we'll go ahead and click that and we'll go ahead and let that process. Once that's finished processing, here we can see now we're working with dot on top of dot or dot next to dot, same angle half tone printing, which has been the industry standard for a number of years. After we did some evaluation on this, we were noticing some issues that you might not pick up unless you're aware of them. But let's go ahead and make a copy of this here and we'll take a look at this. And I'm going to go through my pages here and get to my interlocked half tone preview, which is right here. And I'll go ahead and select that and we'll bring that over here also. Go ahead and group that and we'll go all the way back to page one. 
go ahead and take this one, which is our dot on top of dot or dot next to dot, and I'll go ahead and group that also. And I'll go ahead and minimize my simple steps here, and we'll just go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, RGB, 300 dpi, so we get a better representation of our halftone dots in Corel Draw. Do the same thing here, bitmaps, convert to bitmap, and 300 dpi, and I need to group that, so I'll ungroup all, and we'll go ahead and select group, and we'll go on bitmaps, convert, and this time it'll convert it for me, select OK. And we can see a big difference in the color accuracy in the representation here between the dot on top of or next to that. We can see some of the color of the white coming through or color getting on top of other color and blocking it out. Whereas we can see the vibrancy here with our dot on top of dot, which more accurately matches what we started with for our original graphic. You can also see that here on our other page, we auto generated a custom white base which is right here the first time I'll go ahead and copy that and we can go here to our halftone preview and go ahead and paste that in I'll just change that color I'll change that to like a cyan and I'll knock out the background color and we can see that we also have a perfectly choked white base now there's a lot of new functionality in the all-new simple steps raster 4.0 we've got custom choking and trapping for every color separation we've got new functionality here under the halftones tab. So we can see that we're working with a real evolution for our color management, our halftone printing, our trapping, our choking, and all things we need to do our screen printing, color management, color separation, and halftone ripping for the best possible result on press. So this is just a sneak peek of the all-new Simple Steps Raster 4.0. As I said, we'll have this released within the next week. So it'll be probably like Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.